Hey everybody, Teresa here from Inspiration Cards and I'm back finally to share another round of my Stampin' Jammies online card classes with you. I'm excited to be able to do this again for you guys and this month I'm going to be featuring the Sweet Conversations stamp set from the new January to June mini catalog. It's such a cute stamp set, I've been having so much fun crafting with this one. I can't wait to share this month's cards with you. But before we get to that, I wanted to share a little more information on how my Stampin' Jammies online card classes works. There's two options, really. The first is the full class kit, which includes the month's featured stamp set, one ink pad, some coordinating designer series paper, and of course, all of the class supplies to make all four cards. And that comes to $69 and includes shipping to anywhere in Canada. Then there is the kind of more to go if you just want the class supplies kind of option, which is only $25. And that includes just the class supplies for each week's project. So four projects, just the class supplies for that. You can mix and match any of the stamp sets that you have in your own craft stash at home, and you can still follow along with my videos. So let's flip this around and get to some crafting. All right, so here's our first card featuring the Sweet Conversations stamp set. And I'm also using a little bit of the coordinating Sweet Talk designer series paper. I just love the colors that are in this designer series paper. And of course, it goes so well with the Sweet Conversations stamp set. So what you're going to need for this week's card from your class supply bundle is the large piece of Highland Heather cardstock. So it's just an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock cut in half. And then you'll have two pieces of basic white. You'll have a one inch by five and a quarter piece of Highland Heather designer series paper, along with two two by two inch squares couple of different designs to go with our card. And then of course, these were two by two pieces of cardstock and I've just punched them out in advance using the, the heart punch pack from the annual catalog. All right, so let's get started with some stamping. So I always like to start with the inside of my card. I'm just gonna open my petal pink ink pad here. And I'm just gonna grab one of the little hearts from the, from the stamp set. I'm gonna go with the Love You. You can go with whichever one you like from the stamp set. Or if you're using a, a stamps from your card stash, I'm just gonna put that down in the bottom right hand corner there. There we go. And I'm going to set that aside. And then I'm going to grab my other piece of basic white. And we're going to stamp three hearts just, just up in the top left hand corner. So I'm going to keep out my love you, but I'm also going to grab the you're cute and hug me stamps. And again, just using the petal pink ink pad that would have come with your full class kit. I'm just going to gently tap that on my ink pad, make sure I'm got enough on there. And I'm just going to angle that and have that go off the page just a little bit. Give that a quick little clean so I can swap this out. There we go. And we've got hug me and one more I'm gonna come back with my love you and one thing I love about this stamp set is that the solid hearts that come with the stamp set actually could color these in so if you wanted to just use um, some of the the colors like petal pink or pool party or Highland Heather and just fill them in with the the same ink colors you could totally do that and it would be super easy to do all right I'm going to set that aside to dry and I'm going to grab my punched out heart so whether you punch your heart in advance or if you stamp first punch later is completely up to you here we go 
I'm just going to take the happy to have you in my life. It's a nice phrase to kind of fill in that space there. Here we go. So that's it for our stamping. So I'm going to close this up and set that off to the side there. I'll give that some time to dry. And I'm going to grab my punches. So this is the, these are the heart punch pack from the annual catalog. And I love them because they, right, they layer up and coordinate so well together, just like that. So that's where those two came from. But for the designer series paper, I'm actually just going to use the scalloped heart. So I'm just going to slide that into the center of my punch. There we go. Punch and flip. So you can use whichever size you like. I kind of like the, the rainbow lines. And then here's our pink design. Let's shuffle that down a little bit. There we go. Again, punch, flip. Super easy. And the punches are really heavy duty and will last quite a while. All right, so let's pull back in our card stock here. And let's give our Highland Heather card stock a bit of a fold. Go, get that nice, crisp, clean fold. And use bone folder like this, or if you just have a letter opener, that works just as well. Here we go. All right, so we're going to need our piece for the inside. I'm just going to grab my stamp and seal. You can use whatever tape runner or adhesive is kind of your go-to when you're doing your stamping. I do quite like the, the new stamp and seal. Super easy to use. And the strength of the adhesive is actually really quite good. similar to the, the old fast fuse, if you remember the fast fuse. All right, so there's our, our little heart on the inside of our card. So let's give that a little flip close. We can add on our card mat or card front. Not doing too many layers on the front with the card stocks. I've got a few layers of DSP on this one. So let's pull those off there we go so you could always add an extra layer of cardstock if you wanted in between the highland heather and your stamped piece of basic white you could pull in petal pink or one of the other colors from the designer series paper completely up to you all right so now i'm going to grab my piece of designer series paper with the highland heather design there's a little sneak peek at what's on the other side. And that's just going to go just below our other hearts, our stamped hearts. Just going to try and line that up with our edges. Here we go. All right. And our designer series paper hearts are actually going to get added on with just plain old tape runner. I'm going to add this up here just a little bit off the edge of my basic white. Oops, and then it shifted. There we go. Just a gentle little pull. It's not immediately permanent, thankfully. There we go. go one more all right and let's layer these guys up here there and I'm gonna add this on with just a couple dimensionals on the back here we go and this Peel the backs off of that. Quick and easy. And gives a nice little extra bit of pop, a little extra dimension to your to your card. Here we go. So you got a few little layers of hearts. And then of course, gotta add a little bit of bling. I always love to add a bit of bling to my cards. So I'm just gonna grab a few 
rhinestone basic jewels. I'm just gonna flip around to the spatula end of my take your pick tool. There we go. So I'm gonna add one in here with my phrase. You can add as many as you like. I like sticking with odd numbers, so I'm going to add three. Go. And you're all set. All right, now, as always, I do like to share an extra project featuring the same stamp set. So this week I'm going to show off um, a similar kind of card. So I'm using the designer series paper, the Sweet Talk, and I'm also using the Heart Punch Pack um, duo with this card as well. So just a simple strip of the designer series paper, a couple of, of the scalloped hearts, and the dotted heart and the phrase actually comes from the heartfelt stamp set from the annual catalog, which coordinates with the heart punch pack. So love these. And this was actually one I did for a vertical sketch challenge from the paper craft crew. So you can check out all the details on this card and the other cards that were part of that week's vertical sketch challenge on my blog at inspirationcards.com. Thanks everybody for tuning in and I hope you liked this week's card. I'll be back again next week with another card featuring the Sweet Conversation stamp set. And if you missed out on the full class kit for this month's Stampin' Jammies online card class, you can still get just the class supplies for $25 and that'll include shipping to anywhere in Canada. And if you tack on a little extra, I can ship it outside of Canada as well. If you want to get in on the full class kit for next month's class, which is going to feature the Quiet Meadow stamp set from the annual catalog, there's still lots of time. The deadline to RSVP with payment for next month's Quiet Meadow Stampin' Jammies online card class is February the 12th. So if you just send me an email at inspirationwithteresa at gmail.com, I'd be happy to get that all set up for you. And if you have any questions about Stampin' Up, paper crafting, or anything related to scrapbooking and card making, I'm happy to answer those questions as well. And in the meantime, you can check out my other projects and things on my blog at inspirationcards.com or on my Facebook and Instagram pages at inspirationcards. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next week.